So TJ decided it was time for me to get up. It's 8.41, Tuesday morning. And we're gonna go visit the Bark Park. In our little complex there, we have a Bark Park. And we're gonna go check it out. Welcome to Healthy Vegan Living, a whole food plant-based lifestyle. He doesn't know it's called a bark park. All he knows is that I'm doing these circles because he keeps on wrapping himself around me. All he knows is that it's gonna be fun in the old town tonight. Come on, get out of the. Come on. Another fun thing that's gonna be happening soon is TJs are gonna be going to school. To learn how to walk, sit, heal, all the stuff that I've been ignoring. So I'm trying to give him a little fun before he hits the books. All right, this our neighborhood right here. We're turning on East Preserve. We don't have our blinker on, but we're gonna turn. We're turning, turning, turning. Pen. Okay. To the few of you who know me by now, probably, you know that I like kumquats. It turns out that in our complex, there's a kumquat tree. And I've made a few dishes with that. Plus, I got incredibly lucky and met Alan and Gail, who have given me their kumquats. Perfect timing, I think. Come up with all the kumquat cookies and kumquat pies and all that. So anyway, these were the original models. Beautiful homes. They had this statue over here. Yeah, well, I think it's supposed to be a family. Anyway, and here's my tree. Well, not my tree, but not many people eat this. So you see, you can see the green kumquats right over here. Anyway, so I'll be cooking with these throughout the year. Inside the park house perimeter are tennis courts where we're going to come by real quick. And the bark park is right on the corner. This is the sales information. This is a beautiful neighborhood in case you ever wanted to check it out. You won't be unhappy. Alright, these are the tennis courts. Nobody playing tennis today. So we enter the back park by its own walkway. And its front entrance is a brick wall. And to be able to get in, you need a card like this. And it's a two lock system so that you can be able to get in with your dog safely. And from here, I am going to release them. Now, why am I leaving the leash on? It's very hard to capture. It goes so fast. Unless I have a little food in my pocket, I can't ever get them. It's like a teenager who's so excited. So the bark park has got some big, gigantic bushes. And, it has water, and you can see there's a, a gym for dogs, natural dark park product. TJ, TJ, yeah well, he's over there having way too much fun. Yep, okay, marking territory, that's important. And then they have signs that remind you to pick up after your dog. Please clean up after your dog. Well, I think it's important that we do that. And they have a fire hydrant, because we all know dogs like to use the mailbox. And that's what I call fire hydrants. Now, this fire hydrant doesn't do anything but just stand there. And here is our pet waste station. I'll pick up a couple more bags. Okay. 
we have a tree. Now on this other side of this fence, you can let your dogs romp around and your children can play over here. And this entire area is all open so that your children can play. And then, if you want even more, I'm gonna zoom in so you can see. On the other side where I'm pointing is the pool. It's an Olympic sized swimming pool. And some people rent it for weddings and so forth. And that building over here that you can see in the background is the park house and it has computer rooms and it has... All right, let's get back to TJ. And there he is, checking out. He's looking at me. Okay. And then of course, if you have a dog that does um, kind of coursing or a kind of like, they have these jumps over here where you can jump. You see? That one's got three, the other one's got two. And they all say on your dogs only. Oh well, what can you do, you know? Just checking out the front patio area. Checking out the fence. Doing all the things that dogs do. All right, well, this is a short video. I'm gonna give him a few more minutes so you can have some fun. See, he must have seen something he wasn't sure about. Looks like some of the dogs dug a puddle. Dogs, our dogs don't dig in anything, but there's always dogs that do. Okay, more marking. Coming back, check it out the jumpers. Okay, so we're gonna head our way back home. He's at a little jaunt, and we'll show you how we leave this place. You ready? Are you ready, TJ? <laughs> I see. That's the reason why we have the leash on him. Because when he doesn't want to go, you can't catch him. Oh, you gotta do what you can, you know. So here's the front. More weeds. Okay, it looks like another dog dug there, digging for gold in all the wrong places. Okay. You ready? Okay, let's go. So we undo this latch. And we close it back up. Sorry about that. Only a few arms. And then we press this gate. And then we're back out again. You can't beat the security system nowadays where you don't need a key. You can just use a magnetic fob. Okay, so now we're going back home. Well, thanks for joining us on us, this little TJ adventure of the dog park. And we hope to see you in our next video. Have a good day. If you like this channel, please subscribe. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up. Thank you for watching.